Today we're gonna make baked macaroni and cheese. This is a really simple one, really easy. Got all the ingredients right here. Let's prep them right now. This is a nine by 13 baking dish. We're gonna use a lot of butter for this recipe and I'm gonna get it all around the sides. I'm kind of just greasing the dish. Just like that. And right here I have one cup panko breadcrumbs. Gonna mix in about two tablespoons of melted butter. Do about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then we're gonna grate in about a quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Mix them together well. If you think you don't have enough butter in here, just put a little bit more. And the three cheeses we're going to use are Fontina, cheddar, and Parmigiano Reggiano again. This is Danish Fontina, Italian. Fontina will be more expensive. You can use either one you want. Italian tends to be a little stronger taste. This is a good melty cheese. We want two cups of this. Then we want three and a half cups of sharp cheddar and then a quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. All right guys, so I always like to show you all the ingredients. We have one pound of pasta. I'm using elbow macaroni. Use any type of pasta you like. Rigatoni, penne, uh, there's cap, what is it? Cap capitape, I think is the name of it. That's a cute little one for baked mac and cheese. We did three and a half cups of cheddar, did two cups of fontina. I took a half a cup of each of these and I put it in a bowl here. This is gonna go on the top of our baked mac and cheese. In addition to those two cheeses that are gonna be inside our cheese sauce, we also have a half a cup or a quarter cup of Parmigiano Reggiano, but that looks like a half a cup to me. And yeah, that, you know, this is for people who will say like, you, you didn't do a quarter cup. I know you didn't do a quarter cup, you lied to me. Well, I'm letting you know now. We have a half a cup of flour and we have a stick of butter or seven tablespoons of butter. That's gonna make a roux. And then into that, we're gonna put three cups of milk and two cups, a half and half. I have a little bit more butter. That's gonna be the toss with the pasta. As far as the breadcrumbs, you don't have to do these, but it makes it so much better. And just add a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon, mix it in there. That'll prevent them from getting too stuck together. Uh, you know, if they do get stuck together, it'll be all right. You can, normally they'll loosen up when it goes into the sauce, but this is just an easy way to do it. The pasta will be good. We'll set that off to the side and then we'll make the roux. Turn your heat to about medium or to a little bit less than medium. You just don't want to burn your butter here. And then seven tablespoons of butter. All right, guys, once your butter's pretty much melted, just put the flour in and just whisk it in. I'm just using a nylon whisk here because I have a nonstick pan. It's like you need a couple of these nonstick pan tools if you're gonna use nonstick. And there will be times when you use nonstick. It's easier just to use it for this. And you just don't need to do anything more than that. It's like 35, 40 seconds. I have cold milk here. You can do warm milk. You'll see recipes that say warm milk. You don't have to worry about that. You can go with cold right away and just a little bit at a time, kind of like I dumped a cup in there and now I'm just gonna get it to loosen up, get it to all absorb, and then I'll just keep going with the milk. And I'm gonna raise my heat to a little bit more, about, about medium heat, about a solid five out of 10. And then we're just gonna add the half and half. It's completely smooth now, there's no lumps in here. You can just kind of get it all in there. Because we started with cold, it's probably gonna take about seven to 10 minutes to warm up enough to, to thicken. All right, so just keep stirring it as it does it. We'll be back in about seven minutes. You could take a spoon and then you wanna kind of see the thickness level. See how that, it's almost coating. So I'm gonna give it like maybe a minute more. This recipe with all this here is gonna need a, a good amount of salt. Now I already know because I made this the other day and I'm always making things twice. I'm gonna do two and a half teaspoons of salt. Okay, so that's exactly two and a half teaspoons. I have a beautiful pepper grinder now, guys. Steve Stobel on Instagram, he made this for me. The guy's work is amazing. And yep, just sent it to me. And that is a beautiful pepper grinder, putting out lots of pepper. And you know what, you want a lot of pepper in this, you really do. Okay, we'll start like this for now, but we'll probably build it up more. Okay, and I'm thick enough right now. I'm gonna show you. All right, there's the thickness one more time for you guys to see. Doesn't have to be the exact consistency I'm getting. You're still gonna get good results. I'm gonna put the cheese in. And you can really just put it all in. You don't have to do a little bit at a time. The heat of the hot milk and cream is gonna melt everything. Okay, and that's the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese too. All right, so we have everything in here. And now when we mix this up, we're gonna taste it again. We wanna make sure that 
it has enough salt and pepper. I can tell already by looking at it, it's gonna need more pepper. And just keep mixing it. You know, guys, if you wanna put sodium citrate in here, just do a little bit. You only need a couple teaspoons of it. You don't need much. You can just put Velveeta in here to get more of that too. You can also uh, add American cheese. Those are both really good, like melty cheeses. They stay melted, they stretch well, but we're good like this. So good, but it does need a little bit more salt, okay? That, I put another teaspoon in there and it absolutely needs more pepper. Get the pasta in there. Mix that around. And then we're gonna just get this right in our oven, our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. I don't know if I didn't tell you in the beginning. I'm sorry if I did that. I try to make these like real time guys that we're cooking together. Like we're doing the whole thing together. And that's what I said what the Patreon is gonna become over there when I start doing it. It's gonna be full meals that we cook together, the whole entire thing. All right, and then we're just gonna get it all in there. Now look, if you have too much, you can just use another little dish. Okay, and then here are our breadcrumbs. Just wanna get it all on top. Oh, there I go, forgetting something again. First, get your cheese on top, your remaining cheese. and then your breadcrumbs. You know, just cook your pasta all the way if you just wanna eat it straight like that. And while we're baking it, we're gonna toast these breadcrumbs on top. I have parchment paper, guys. Now, you know what? Nah, I don't need it. If you were too high right here, say you went to the top of your pan and you worry about that cheese sticking, then you put parchment paper down, it won't stick at all, but we'll be okay. Now I'm gonna cook it I'm gonna bake this in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes covered first, all right? That's gonna prevent it a little bit from drying out. We'll pull it off, pull the foil off. It's about five or seven minutes more, just till it gets a little bubbly, and then just hit the broiler. Do four inches from the top, just broil it for the last 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds, just to get, get it brown. So we're only gonna be in the oven for about 17 minutes. Thanks for being here. You want more breadcrumbs on it, buddy? Uh, yes, thank you. I made extra today. Just remember how we liked them last time and I didn't do that? Mm. Now listen, I know you like the stovetop mac and cheese better, right? No. You do, I mean, I do. I really do. I like the both though. They're very different, the two of them. That's the thing. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. Why don't you think about what you're gonna rate it? Mm. You know what? I think that personally, without the breadcrumbs and the smoked paprika, it wouldn't be nearly as good. What do you think? I don't know. I like them both ways. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think this will get like a solid eight and a half. I eight think. and a half. Yeah, once he said solid, I knew I wasn't getting a high rating. <laughs> but an eight and a half is pretty good. You mean that really an eight and a half? Huh? Yeah, okay. Well, mm. well, here's the thing, like, it's so good for back and cheese. The breadcrumbs are amazing. Special thanks to Patreon producers Chris Whalen, Steve Winitsky, Paul Walter Hauser, Elizabeth Shaw, Joe Hardage, John Andolino, Kenneth Parker, Matt Fisher, Richard C., Tom Branca, Mike Tamburino, Matthew Amore, Richard P. Bornvanek, Matt Gramke, Alex Eckleberry, Andrew Juhas, Paul Batman, Patrick Lang, John Kelly, Jonathan Papini, Ronnie Mask, Trevor, JB, Monica Tarot, Josh Avon, Ed Calameg, Daryl Crone, Pedro Basso, and Patricia Siefkin.